What's up, folks? Welcome to uh, this is not the mash and drum whiskey room, as you can see, but it is a mash and journey whiskey club pick. So uh, thanks for everybody for uh, for hanging out tonight. We are selecting for the Master Journey Whiskey Club a uh, Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof selection. I am in Bardstown. I was just at an event at Bardstown Bourbon Company uh, for uh, the 50th anniversary of Steve Nally. Uh, so I was really excited to be a part of that. I got to meet got to meet some pretty cool players in the uh, in the industry. So. Scott, we'll talk about that later. We might have a good uh, some some good connections that come from this. Yes. So, yeah. So we'll get into that, but I do want to let me uh, let me go here and um, let me turn on the display names. So as you see here, we have uh, super patron and super Jack Daniels super fan Brett Mar Quetz. You have to you have to enunciate the Q. Uh, we have Adam Dorman, who's been a huge supporter of the Master Journey Whiskey Club and a lot of the picks that we've done. Uh, he does some great stuff on Instagram. Uh, then right below him, you guys know all and love Cliffy, Clifton from Bourbon Bites. Cliffy. This, and the best thing about this is his first, this is his first barrel pick he's ever done. First one so, ever. So wow. excited. It's like, it's like your first game is the Super Bowl. <laughs> I mean, pretty much. I mean, we're starting with Jack Daniels. I mean, that's a heck of a first pick. It is. Heck, yeah, not only is it Jack Daniels, but it's a Jack Daniels single barrel, friggin' barrel proof dude. So, yes. <laughs> yeah, you're ready to go. So, um, so what we're gonna do is we have three samples that Jack Daniels sent us, um, and uh, we're gonna taste through all three. And we don't know the proofs on any of these yet. We're gonna kind of let that be known. Uh, a little bit later in the once we kind of pick our our favorite here, so we have. Uh, I, I do want to take a moment to thank Shem, uh, Shem Coward from Keg and Bottle, and just Keg and Bottle in general. They've been such a an amazing partner for us to get these picks that you guys love to uh, <laughs> love for us to do and love to to bring to the club. Um, Scott, I don't know if you want to say anything, but I really appreciate what they're doing for us. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think from early on, I mean, the the amount of I guess selections and 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 people that they've been able to get us involved with has been instrumental in us being able to bring a lot of what we've been able to do, um, you know, to you guys. So I mean, we we can't thank Shem and and everybody over there at, at Keg and Bottle um, e enough. I mean, it's it's been fantastic. So if if Shem's in here, uh, thanks, appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, and uh, just so everybody knows, we're gonna freaking bourbon bites the shit out of the sticker for uh, for, for Clifton because this is gonna be his first pick. Uh, we'll throw Brett, we'll throw Adam on there in some facet. Uh, I already have some fun ideas to uh, bring the three guys that helped us pick this uh, to the sticker as well. So um, uh, excited to get into this. So we what's fun about this pick is we don't really know the we don't know the proofs of these at all uh like i said we'll hopefully find that out a little bit later uh we we're just we picked a scott picked a random order of uh <laughs> lot number 20 then lot number nine and then lot number 11. so that's the order we're gonna go in here and uh, i'm gonna take off my uh, my jacket because it's hot. Oh, he's going to relax. There we go. <laughs> We're going to relax a bit here, boys. So, Jason, what did you get to drink at the big dinner you were at tonight? The best thing I drank tonight was a 1997 Maker's Mark uh, Derby edition that was actually distilled by Steve Nally back in the 80s. Wow. So this wow. this was this was, was probably that, was that the gold was that the gold top one? No, it was a it was a green top, oh. but it was probably the most vanilla caramel like forward makers I've ever had in my life. It was so rich in flavors in that aspect. I mean, I could not stop drinking it. And it they and what's crazy is they had about six bottles at the bar at Barstown Bourbon Company, and people were just walking up and pouring it. I think I I think I drank half a bottle myself. It was so delicious, <laughs> and it was and it was uh it was like a it was a ninety proofer. So real real easy, real uh like like I said vanilla, like vanilla just. 
I mean, you talk about vanilla and bourbon, and I know it's kind of a it's it's a very ubiquitous note, but this was like fresh vanilla bean, like you just cut up, but it was so intense. Vanilla ice cream with some caramel syrup. It was amazing. So awesome. Sounds great. Yes. Uh, just so you know, I was at prom. I was at Bardstown Bourbon Company prom. <laughs> Uh, wow. Jason came from a wedding. Yes, uh, I did. <laughs> Jason, uh, wasn't there a hot tub at the hotel to do this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank God that was uh, That would have been weird. Yes. Yeah, it would have been super weird. That would have been super weird. Uh, yeah, this is yeah. This is basically, JG, the random hawk assortment. That's basically what it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so let me ask you real quick before we dive into these, Brett. Uh, why don't you uh, tell a little bit about yourself and um how much of a super fan of jack daniels you are i have been to the distillery many many times and i live in the mountains of colorado so that's a long drive for me yeah it is i got i started drinking it probably when i was 18 because it was legal back then when you're 18 i've just i've gotten uh bottled in bond from europe the single barrel bottle in bond from europe i got a koi hill over my shoulder up there tennessee tasters up there i I just love it. It's what started my bourbon journey. And obviously you can tell behind me, it expanded <laughs> immensely, but Jack's always the go-to, you know? Well, you said my bourbon journey. So now you owe Scott 10 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I owe him, I owe him 10 bucks. That was the plug. You do, you do owe him 10 bucks. <laughs> yeah, I do. I owe him 10 uh, bucks. Adam, what about you, bud? I mean, you've uh, you've done a lot of different tasting on on Instagram. Uh, I know you've been training for all this Jack Daniels uh, these picks tonight. So uh, <laughs> tell everybody a little bit about tell everyone a little bit about you, your Instagram, and uh, and what you've been doing. Well, Jason, I farm in Missouri, so uh, I love raising corn, and uh, we actually a lot of our corn makes ethanol here in Missouri. But uh, um, you know, uh, Jack Daniels is is kind of what started me too it started i got a bottle of bicentennial bottle right up here that my wife gave me uh back when i was 21 so back years and years and years ago and uh started me collecting jack daniels and eventually i grew on to loving bourbon more and uh getting into all kinds of whiskey so i uh i really enjoy i like to think of you know like we all are whiskey enthusiasts you know i really enjoy drinking whiskey and talking about it uh, yeah, my Instagram deal is at Evening Dram. If anybody's interested, why well, you're welcome to come join along, and uh, it's just something fun I do on Sunday nights. Gives me an excuse to do a flight every now and again. You know, everybody needs an excuse to drink some whiskey here or there. So, but uh, no, it's a great time. Jack Daniels, I love going to the distillery. Like Brett says, it's awesome, and uh, um, you know, I got the opportunity. I'm a Tennessee Squire, which is awesome. That, that uh, best part is you get a front row parking spot at the distillery. You can't beat that. So, wow. no, I'm honored to be doing this tonight, guys. And I got this Heritage Barrel. This is one of my uh, oh, first limited right. edition. So good. So I good. love that release. It was so good. Yeah, so I, I'm drinking it tonight to start with. And, I, you know, I didn't realize that about this bottle when uh, I knew it was 100 proof, but I was reading a little closer. You know, this bottle, they actually did in heavy toasted barrels and barreled it at 100 proof entry proof. And so it's almost like a foolproof version of Jack Daniels, you know. So that's yeah. uh, at 100 proof. It's got some, you'd like it. It's got a lot of butterscotch notes to it for me. Oh, you know, exactly. it, uh, I, I love that stuff. You know, that was that was still one of those that kind of sat around for a little while. I think it was like right before everything kind of started to explode. And then once that kind of caught on, it was just, I mean, all, I guess, out, uphill, downhill, whatever you want to call it from there. But it was that was one you could you you could go and get that like for quite a while. And then and then, boom, they were they were gone. And yeah, they're gone. I got yeah. one. I haven't opened it yet. And uh, last yeah. but not, certainly not least, uh, Clifton from Bourbon Bites. Tell everyone a little bit about your channel and uh, what you've been, you got, you've been putting out some great content as always. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, my channel is Bourbon Bites. I say it's whiskey reviews with a gaming twist. Uh, so I do a bit of both, but mostly whiskey reviews. Um, I, I started my channel about three years ago and opposite of these guys, I actually didn't start out loving Jack Daniels. So I started with most like Kentucky bourbon. That's kind of how I started my bourbon journey. 
I'll give you your $10 later, Scott. Um, but, <laughs> I got to write down everybody I owe tonight. So, all right. Clear, <laughs> all right. Yeah. But no, I, I think it was with the Heritage Barrel and then some of the single barrel barrel proofs that were coming out, as well as the Tennessee Tasters. I was like, huh, this Jack Daniels has some really good stuff. And ever since then, I haven't looked back. It's become one of my favorites. And again, I'm really honored to be here tonight among these fanatics of Jack Daniels. And I'm excited to, I guess, become a fanatic after tonight. So, yeah. Glad, glad you could be part there of it. Cliff. Um, so Robert D says Jack Daniel Sinatra at $140 worth it. There's a bottle of my local uh, B&M that's been hanging around too long. Um, I always tell this when people ask me about Jack Daniel's uh, Sinatra Select. As a whiskey, it's it's good. I think it's, it's definitely better than the standard Sinatra. But I think if you like Sinatra more – it makes it that much better. So if you're if you're a Sinatra super fan uh, or of a fan in general, I think you'll really really enjoy it. If you're if you're, if you're not a Sinatra fan and you're expecting it to be something that's you know a thousand times better than the regular Jack Daniels, uh, that's not the case. So really, that hundred and forty bucks, it really depends. I think if uh, how much of a Sinatra fan you are. So I would agree. Yeah. 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 It's a beautiful bottle, but. Um... Jack Daniel's Barrel Proof beats it every day. So that's, uh, in oh, my yeah. opinion. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. What are you uh, – you ready to, to jump into this shit? Let's do it. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Uh, you know, again, big thanks to uh, Keg and Bottle for making this happen for us. Um, we're going to start with uh, lot number 20. So let's dive in, guys, and how we work this. If you guys have not worked – have not seen a Mass and Journey Barrel Pick uh, for Brett, Adam, and Clifton – just shout out notes, whatever you're picking up, whatever you think uh, that you're getting on the nose and the palate, just let us know and uh, we'll talk through it. Okay. Yeah. Like it, like it, dislike it, whatever. We, we want to know what you guys are, uh, are thinking. All so, right. all right. Cheers guys. Right. Here we go. Cheers. 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 Let's get into this. Let's pick a good one for the, uh, for the patrons here. Here we go. Man, that's a freaking cherry bomb. Holy moly. Yeah. The good part is I don't think I've ever not liked a Jack Daniels Barrel Proof. It's just I like some more than others. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Well, that, I mean, that's the key. We're just trying to pick the best of the three here. Yeah. Boy. Yeah, this has like a, a big, lot. I think a big old, like, fudge brownie on this bad boy, too. This has a lot of baked. Yeah, this has a lot of, like, dark red, like, cherry pie thing that I, that I love in a great – in a Jack Daniels single barrel. So, uh, hey, yeah. uh, Perry, the man is here. I'm going to need at least one of these bottles. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get you one, Perry. <laughs> Cheers, Perry. Yep. Yeah, I'm getting like a cakey kind of like uh, you said brownie earlier. I'm definitely getting some yeah. kind of like a little bit like burnt edges on like a, a cake or a brownie. Yeah, I can see that. A little bit of brown sugar. I am not in oh, a very, very, very good. That's a very good one. Yeah. Well, what was that last note? Brown sugar. A little bit of brown sugar. Yeah. Uh, I am not at a funeral parlor. I'm in a Bardstown uh, hotel room. <laughs> Someone said spa earlier. It does look like a spa. I know. It does look like a spa. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. You know, the traditional note I've always gotten on Jack Dunn's Barrel Proof is like a banana nut bread. You, you know, it's kind of a traditional note that you get on most all of them. But. Mm -hmm. man, I'm not one, getting, one thing I'm I've always... Getting. I'm not. I, I mean, are you guys? I'm not getting a ton of banana on this one. Are you guys? No, the banana's pretty light. Yeah, yeah I mean, I've, 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 I've never been. A, I've never been like a, a get a banana on a lot of brown form and stuff. So I, I always miss that one for me. But see, I'm very banana sensitive. Like I, okay, yeah. sometimes I like really don't like it in some other brown form and products. Like sometimes it expresses itself like that fake banana, banana runts. I don't like that at all. So fortunately, with most Jack Daniels barrel proofs, I found it's more of like banana bread, which I'm on board with. Yeah, um, so as yeah, long as it's yeah. like a cooked like a banana dessert, I'm I'm a hundred percent a fan of. So this is definitely if it's banana at all, it's the good banana. <laughs> this you know is what? Like, this, this is baked banana bread soaked in caramel and topped with a little bit of chocolate. I was thinking like a almost like a rum cake or something. There you go. Something very like decadent yeah. about it. Yeah, dense yeah. and decadent for sure. There's something very sweet about this. Yeah. All right, guys, you ready to taste this one? Here we all go. Right, let's give it a yeah, let's let's do it. A Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Man, the mouthfeel. Holy shit, that's delicious. Mm -hmm. Wow. Holy shit, that's, holy shit, that's hot. 
Oh, it's hot. It's, yeah, it's, it's hot. I don't know that it's that hot. It's the mouthfeel is it just coated your mouth. That is oily. That is a awesome. I think Scott picked a good picked a good order here. We were saying like, what's up with this order, Scott? But now I'm like, oh yeah, my gosh, yeah. that's a. I, I don't know about that's you. Guys. I don't know about you guys, but man, that's like a shit ton of tobacco to me. Hmm. So I am. I am getting. Food. I am getting that. But I am getting that baked banana bread note oh, on here yeah. and a ton of cinnamon. Yeah. Yep. And I get that yeah, the cinnamon, that Jason. Away. That's what the cinnamon, Jason. That's what I was sitting here just now. I was like, "What? What exactly is that?" The cinnamon is really coming out on the finish. Ooh. I think the I think the nose. I think the nose is sweeter than the palate. Like the palate's not as sweet as as um, that I was expecting. I was expecting it to be more like the nose, but it it's not overly sweet to me anyway. I get it's more not. of the chocolate on the palate than I was getting on the nose. Yeah. I, it, y'all it's were saying chocolate earlier. I didn't get it, but now I got it. Yeah, it's more earthy. It's dense. It's chocolatey. It's it's banana bread. It's man, that is it's extremely it's spice spicy. right here, man. On the finish, yeah, just it's, it's really this is a cinnamon bomb to me. This is cinnamon red hots. Clifton, this is uh, this is this is this is, this is super, this is Super Mario with his ass on fire. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm on board. <laughs> sticker idea. There we go. <laughs> yeah, sticker idea. There you go. Man, that this one's really good. good. You know, We're starting off good. Generally, these proofs are usually like 126 to 138 or something like that. You know, where do you think this falls, Jason? Where yeah, are you I guessing this at? I think it's on the higher. This is above 130. I'm, I'm thinking this is close. To I would think. I would say 130 to 131. I would guess for this one. I was thinking 131. Yeah, I was like, yeah. Jason, you've been training for Matt Madness, so I feel like I trust your I have, <laughs> I trust I mean, judgment. It's I've a, been it's a, it's a range, I, it's a, I love the range, 130 to 131. <laughs> That's very. This guy's been. This guy's been training. Right. I'm dialing that shit in lately. I'm just yeah, telling you. Are. you. Yeah, yeah, you are. Man, all right, I gotta get back to shit, this. That's really good. Man, did your nose change? Like after you took a sip out of that, did the nose really open up on this? Because it did for me. Well, we're gonna we're gonna obviously go back through these because there's only three, mm -hmm. and we obviously want to make sure we get the best one here, but. You know, these, yeah. these will change while they're sitting in the glass and getting a little bit of air time. Uh, but, yeah, so far, that's a solid Jack Daniels barrel proof pick. Um, I, don't, yeah. I don't know if I'm looking for something a little bit more unique from it, but it's really good. I mean. I'm seeing some people in the chat saying that Zofer said cinnamon red hot is a has, hard pass for me. So, for me, yeah. I'm not getting too – I'm getting a little bit of, like, actual cinnamon. Like, to me, it's less sweet than, like, a cinnamon red hot. Yeah. yeah, yeah, more more just cinnamon spice than the red hot, you know, more a lot of cinnamon to me than than that, and it's it is kind of unique to me that from all the barrel proof bottles I've had, I don't know that I've had one with that much cinnamon come off. See, for me, cinnamon. for me, for me, for Jack Daniel's barrel proof stuff, it's it's a little less sweet than I prefer. Like I I want, yeah, I want it that. is yes. I want that to have a little a little more sweetness. I I would prefer. I but I would I would agree. Yeah. I would agree. Yeah, it's not as Jason sweet as Jason most of them before. are, Scott. That's exactly right. Yeah, right. Jason said before, like, there's a little bit of an earthiness to it. Like, it's it's really yep. good, but, like, I want just that little bit more, like, sweetness. I don't know about you guys, but. Yeah, I'm excited to see how it compares. Then coming back to it, because it's hard to judge the first one. I'm excited to come back yeah, to we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll come yeah. back. I mean, for the first pour of drinking something so high proof will light your ass <laughs> up. So we'll have to come yeah. back to it. Very, very <laughs> true. All right, very let's true. go over. Uh, so now we're going to move to lot number nine. Um, this is my, this is my, uh, my birthday date. So I'm hoping it's a good one. Oh, nice. Oh, very different on the nose. Extremely different on the nose. I mean, I could, I, I mean, I could smell the proof all day. Ooh. Yeah, it definitely tingles the nose. There's a bit more, I think. <laughs> I get more apple from this one. Ooh. That's a good call, Brett. I don't get banana at all. Like this no. is not expressing banana. This is not banana at all. This is, no. uh, yeah, Brett for saying banana. This is all like apple pie, apple yeah, pie pastry crust right now. Yeah, I, I would agree. It's very, it's very crusty. Holy crap! This is <laughs> very crusty. Scott said, very crusty. Yeah, those are official tastes. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. If crusty. <laughs> I don't know if crusty, crusty is the right term, but yeah. 
Crusty. <laughs> crusty, a uh, crusty, the clowns. Uh, no, remember crusty. like, uh, remember like those, uh, like crusties, the, uh, like what were they like, uh, like pancakes or something, crusties. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't they stuffed with peanut butter and jelly or something? Maybe. Uh, Maybe. Dark Uncrustables. Yeah, I, got, I got cherry. I got a little bit of cherry out of the first glass, which was more of the the Jack Daniels barrel proof single barrels that I love have like a dark fruit note to it. And I was getting it a little bit on the first glass, but it was it turned more into cinnamon. Um, so we'll see about the uh, the second one here. But I am surprised at how much apple cinnamon like funk I'm getting on this. Yeah. I would absolutely never great. guess Jack Daniels on the nose alone. Like so, yeah, yeah, I would, madness, no yeah, way, I would agree. no way. Yeah. You could totally. This fool is much lighter out. nose. Yeah, I'm curious what the like. So cheers, guys. Yeah. Here we go. Cheers. 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 Oh, and now you owe me ten dollars, Jason. <laughs> he's got the mat. Oh, he's got he's got the Onyx one. Yeah. Ooh, that's that's different. That is apple pie, man. That is all apple pie. Hmm. Much sweeter than the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely sweeter. Where the other one had the cinnamon spice, this gives you like that that cinnamon in an apple pie type of a deal. You know, it's like you just yeah. that great apple pie right there. Yeah, it was like like stewed apples, like almost like it's like the apple Ooh. itself is kind of a little tart, but it's like stewed down with like the cinnamon and the brown sugar. I think that's kind of yeah. how I'm getting on that. It's a little more yeah. traditional on the palate compared to, on the nose. I wouldn't have guessed on the palate. I'm like, okay, this is at least brown form. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I, I would. I would agree. Getting, I'm getting all. I don't uh, know that it's quite as oily. I don't think it's quite the mouthfeel that the first one had. You know, I don't think it quite coated my mouth like that first one. But yeah, maybe it's a little thinner. I, I would agree well, with it's that. It's definitely a little thinner. It's a little bit more of a. It's coming off younger to me with that apple note. Yeah, like um, I, yeah. So I, speaking I of that, where, fruit there, but yeah. What do you think these are age wise? You think they're hitting somewhere around seven to eight years? Is what I've usually thought they were. What do you think, Jason and Scott? I don't. I don't know. We're gonna. We're gonna find out. Um, uh, Shem has all the stats, I think, on these, so we'll we'll find out exactly what it is. I would guess these are between seven and nine years old. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Going back to the nose on this one, after tasting it, I'm picking m more of the oak on it. I think I wasn't getting that at first, but now it's like yeah. I'm getting oak, and I'm getting I'm getting oak, and I'm getting youth on the nose now. When I go back to it, it's really, really in I'm getting it's very. Remember, Jack Daniels uses a very high corn mash bill. I'm mm -hmm. getting a good amount of corn on the nose here, like dusty corn. Where like that strong like vanilla it. comes out. Mm. Yeah, it's not as it's not nearly as complex as one to me, especially on mouthfeel and just the flavors that were coming out. Yeah, it drinks well, a little bit like, like like it's like it's almost been like like lowered the proof a bit. I know it's not, but it almost drinks like all right. It has Sam, Sam is saying I, the age is listed on the sample bottles with that code. Uh, um, so where it is um, here? Number. Wait, how do you <laughs> interpret? So was it? So was it ninety-eight? I was gonna say what? <laughs> so if that's the case, 19, 1998. Zero seven seven ninety-eight. So was it distilled in ninety-eight? Was that? Is that how I'm reading it, Shem? There's no way. There's no way. That'd <laughs> be some really well-aged stuff, man. <laughs> this one, like the middle, the middle one would be July seventh, nineteen ninety-eight. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think. Yeah, so. I don't think yeah, so. I don't think if they all guys, are. They're all the you same. Guys, you guys have looked at the color of some of these. Like the third one looks to be the darkest. I don't know about. Yes, that. the third one is definitely that. eleven. Yeah. Is definitely the darkest. Do we think the year is the sixteen? Like twenty sixteen. In other news, uh, Arkansas, Arkansas beat Gonzaga. What? Oh, I, was I, I was I was watching. Oh was, no! Was oh, good lord. The letter refers to the month, and there's the year listed in the day, similar to how wild. Oh, so it's like wild turkey does it. Okay, I got it. The letter refers to the month. So 16D14? I was 16. thinking, does that mean 2016? I don't know. <laughs> I'm bad and at interpreting codes. April 2016? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a. I don't know. You're I'm gonna just, have to wait for tell me. So K would be November if the, right. the letter is a month. Um, Are they all of sixteen? You know yeah. that would be what six year old. Yeah, they're all sixteen. Yeah, they're all sixteen. 
16 is the two digit year. Okay. And then the letter, so there's April. November. Yeah, so we're looking at yeah, we're looking at probably about a seven year old whiskey. Yep. That's about what yeah. would fall Six into years. the check deals. Yeah, that's that's uh yeah. You all failed the cryptology quiz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's go to number three, which is actually uh, this is lot. Uh, this is number eleven. So let's see what we get here. This is the as Scott mentioned. This is the this is the darkest one. So it also is like the deepest nose to me, like a deeper, darker fruits. Oh, for sure. This is where I'm getting the like a raspberry note a little bit, raspberry chocolate. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, this is the the most red fruit I've gotten on any of these. Yeah, it's Very really it really is a nice nice fruit fruit yeah. nose. But again, I think you're still getting like we were on the second one. There's a little bit of that kind of like apple pie on this one too, kind of. Yeah, it's still banana. Yeah, it's not very banana. It's not just it's not just cinnamon to me. This is cinnamon, dark fruit. This is pastry. This is, has a little bit. I feel like uh, the second one we tried is a little bit more on just the apple cinnamon note, and that's it. This has a little bit yes. more of it. At least, at least on the nose. Yeah. Yeah, it smells like a candle. I, I really want. <laughs> Yeah, Brett, uh, what do you put no, up on Couldn't you smell this all night, Clifton? Wouldn't this be all right? I mean, that'd yeah. be cool as a candle. So uh, real quick, we have, a, we have 198 people uh, watching right now. So cheers, guys. Thanks so much oh, for us. Cheers. cheers, guys. Cheers. Uh, Cliff, just so everybody knows, what are you doing on your live tonight at uh, 10 p.m. <laughs> Eastern Standard Time? Oh, boy. Well, I knew that my pal would be completely shot after this. So I am doing... <laughs> I am doing uh, Captain Morgan pre-mixed um, beverages, spring break celebration. I figured most people are on spring break this week or last week, so we're seeing if yeah. this stuff's any good. <laughs> I'm just taking okay. it chill tonight. I'm, I'm just having fun with it. It's going to be a casual stream, but um, yeah, that'll looking be fun. forward to it. <laughs> I didn't want to have something that I was like, I feel like it wouldn't be fair to give people reviews of anything after tonight because I'm like, my palate's going to be shot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You could review some Obtanium. You know, it's higher proofed. <laughs> oh man, they really want to see Cliff. You really want to see Cliffy, don't you? <laughs> you betcha. Absolutely. Brett, what do you think on the nose on this one? Well, I do get a little raspberry. Yep. It's not as brown sugary as the first one. It's not. This is way more on the sweet, like candy fruit side to me. Yeah. Just compare yeah. it, which is crazy. It's giving me like like holiday, like kind of like holiday spice, like a Thanksgiving or like a Christmas kind of whiskey that I would want to sip on. Yeah, Sur totally. Surpri totally surprisingly, good. I'm not getting like a lot of oak on these like I thought it was going to. It's not very present for the most part. I'm wondering if it's because it is that six years. And I think that tends to be a little bit on the younger end for a yeah, lot of brown Foreman products. Yeah, yeah I, I can't say I've ever had a Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof that gave me like a ton of oak, honestly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Three different. All right, all right. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. The mouthfeel is back. <laughs> it's the there. Mouth feel, the mouthfeel <laughs> is back. <laughs> Man, anyone get like anyone get like a peanut butter note? at all mm -hmm. i do yeah. yeah there's a bit of a nuttiness like a sweet sweet yeah butter. there's a little bit of like a sweet nuttiness to that this is peanut butter and jelly to me on the palate <laughs> yeah peanut butter and jelly That's time peanut butter and jelly, peanut time. Butter, jelly time <laughs> well this is a contender there's no doubt oh yeah three right. different ones too they're not it like, almost it almost things. oh sorry go ahead it's like they're all three different there's nothing like overlapping I wasn't expecting them yeah, to be they're... so different. I mean, this one almost tastes like it almost seems like if I were blind guessing, I would say finished. It has a bit of like a lot of that red fruits on it. <laughs> I, I agree. It's some deep. So it, you know, what I would describe as a deeper fruit, darker whiskey type. Hmm. Uh, Greg, they're it. not great. Yeah, Greg, they're not so much supposed to be a little older. It's uh, just these are just single barrel selections here. Um. Yeah, I would say it's between A and C. I mean, my yeah, goodness gracious. I, 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 would, I would agree. Yeah, yeah I think, I think yeah, going, yeah, back, going back to A We're, is going to no, be. Let's, let's just do it now. Let's eliminate nine because it doesn't have nearly the complexity that 20 it's, and 11 did. It's not complex at all. Yeah. 
So it's interesting. It's something you normally don't get on a Jack Daniels barrel proof, but it's not. It doesn't have the mouth fill or the complexity like you guys are saying of the the other two. Robert D yeah. nailed it. It's like that peanut butter and nutter butter is not. Let that's not butter. It's just calories. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Baby is almost never mm. over six years, but like old mm. foe, they heat cycle, and they would yeah. say they would say six years more like an eight year equivalent. So you guys, yeah, you got to remember yeah. that yeah. Jack Daniels is a product of Brown Foreman, which uses height, uh, heat cycled warehouses. So anything that you that the actual age. They usually stay to add about a year and a half to two years to that because of those those heat cycle that intense um, heat that they bring to those barrels during aging. So, yeah, I'm revisiting number nine just to, just real quick, but I think I think we said it. I think it it lacks the complexity. It has the uniqueness that C or not C, sorry, that number eleven has, um, but it it just doesn't have the the mouthfeel that it has. Have on. you guys gone back to twenty? Like. Not yet. 20, yeah, not yeah, yeah. Only on the nose now. It's ridiculous on the nose. Oh my god. Yeah, the chocolate comes out big time. It mm -hmm. smells so yeah. good. Yeah, definitely, definitely much more of that fudge brownie for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like brownie, and I'm getting like, a, like the slightest hint of like a, this is gonna sound bougie, but like a Turkish coffee. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. that, that would be bougie. <laughs> bougie. <laughs> <laughs> see, what, see what a see what a tuxedo does for the guy. Now he's like talking about puts on it puts on a sport jacket. Look what comes up. Yeah. You That's know what's what interesting happened. though. At the beginning, we oh. said that you know this one was a lot more traditional. But I feel like going back to it, I'm like I'm second guessing that. I think it's it's different. It's it's still dessert, it but it's not I, standard. I totally agree. With yeah. that. Still, I think the like the like the last one or C or whatever the hell this one is number number eleven. I mean, the finish is forever on 11. It is. Man, I'm loving the flavors of 20. Let me go back to 11 here. I got to go back. I got to I gotta go back to uh, to 20 as well. Yeah, 20 is really nice going back to it for the first time. Yeah. Hmm. I do agree the finish on the, the number 11 is definitely longer and a bit better, honestly. Uh, so sample number 20, uh, August 29th, 2016 is when it was distilled or barreled, I should say. Uh, sample 11 is April 14th, 2016. So, so it'll be all about 11. A couple weeks. I'm all about 11. 20 is so unique. It's, but man, that cinnamon really overrides that uh, finish for me compared to 11. Yeah, I, 11 I, it's I, got I, a lot more I, of that sweet, long cherry finish to me. And I, I think I think twenty still drinks hot, man. I thought at first it was just like a shocker, but man, twenty drinks hot. But twenty drinks hotter than eleven for sure. Yeah, definitely. I I mean if it if it's yeah. not the highest if it's not the highest proof, I'd be I'd be surprised. I, but. I think it's part of that cinnamon that's making it, you know, that gives it a little bit more of that heat, that note to it. I mean that I don't know. It just it does it it's unique. The nose is wonderful, like Jason says, but Man, that's unique. It gives it a little bit of that spice and stuff, but the finish on eleven, man, that is that is something else. Yeah, eleven is kind of giving me like a drying sensation a bit too. I don't know if it's the proof or what, but to me, it's like it kind of dries out. It is really nice of a finish, but I do think it's drier, where the first one's more like sweeter. Um, yeah, thanks, Sham. I wasn't aware of the hero selection. My coworker had one. They told me we were a little older, but I figured it's the perfect opportunity to ask. I don't know, guys. I'm, I mean, 11 is good. I like the finish on 11, but I think 20 brings way much more to the table, honestly. I'm conflicted. I'm, I'm like half and half. <laughs> 20 on the palate to me has way more oomph than 11 does but 11 does i think have the finish but man i love 20. every time i'm going no. but again i love cinnamon so maybe that's where my palate's going hey man if you are a cinnamon lover that is all over 20 man i yeah. am i can see where you'd be there that no doubt put, in my mind I put cinnamon on my coffee. I put cinnamon on a lot of chips. Twenty was the first one, Whiskey Mountains. Yeah, yeah. Twenty was the first one, Whiskey Mountains. 
I mean, I like cinnamon rolls and stuff, and that you know, but I don't know. This eleven is, it is. It's, it's, it's like hard for, hard to beat for me. Yeah, I would I would agree. Like I'm 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 leaning I'm leaning eleven as well. I think it's just maybe. I mean, the the finish for me is like I mean, to me, it's not even close. I I think eleven's the finish on it is is so much better than, than I'll, the other I'll, one. I'll give you the finish on eleven. I think twenty has the better palette. Really, I think it's I think it's thicker, and I think it's more of a punch of flavor on twenty. Eleven to me drinks lighter. What do you think, Cliffy? I keep going back and forth because I do think like in general the palette. I'm agreeing with Jason. I think the palette on on the first one is like delicious. I mean, I think it's like it's exactly what I want it to be. I do yeah. like how unique eleven is. I think that finish is incredible. I think the nose on eleven is incredible. So it's kind of yeah. like I, am I balancing out you know the nose and finish compared to like palette? I do think it. 11 drinks a lot. I mean, sorry, 20 drinks uh, a little thinner to me personally. I think 11 has the bigger, bolder taste. Yeah, I, th yeah. I think there's like, a, yeah, like, like um, 11 just seems to be, for me, like a little bit, a little more like richer for me. Just a side note, Jason, you go back to that Harridge barrel I got poured there and it is like a butterscotch bomb compared to these. <laughs> Well, dude, man, I don't, I don't fucking have that on hand, dude. Shit. <laughs> See, I'm going to have to go with 20 because what I look for in Jack Daniels Barrel Proof is heat and flavor and different from all other Jack Daniels, and 20 is it. I think I agree. That's what's drawing me to 20 more than 11. Right. It's different, Brett. I agree. It's different. I just... The one that I'm going to enjoy drinking more would be 11. It just uh, 20. The more I go back to it, the cinnamon overrides for me a little bit. But I mean, they're all really good. Don't they're get me wrong. Good. But I think I'm, 11 I think I'm, is, in, I think uh, I'm in Adam's camp. I mean, I'm going back and forth between 20 and 11. I mean, right, neither of them are bad. 20, 20. Exactly. Exactly, Brett. Exactly. 20 for me. The the punch of flavor I'm getting far outweighs eleven. I'm not sure how you guys aren't seeing that. I mean, well, that, that's what I was. I was agreeing with that. I think up front, like flavor of twenty is fantastic. I just like, feel like yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm leaning though. towards eleven. Like these guys are saying, I think overall it's the most interesting one. But I mean, man, that flavor punch up front on on twenty it makes it a really hard choice. That that's that's where I that's where I'm at. Like where I'm where I'm struggling is is that really heavy like like cinnamon note like i mean it's so for me it's so forward in in 20 that it's 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 over for me it's overshadowing like some of the other things that that you want like uh, that's and maybe i just need to have a little bit of water and go back to it a little bit but <laughs> well, I, don't know, Scott, I, don't, I don't know if i trust you scott you're sick <laughs> oh, geez, here we go. Here we go. Here That's we go. Right. Got sick. I forgot about that. I am. I am sick. I'm powering through this fucker, though. Well, I mean, I, I get your flavor punch when you drink twenty. It that front, right on the front of the palate, has got that flavor punch. I get you. It's the finish that yeah. gets me. Um, it, it, the flavor punch is is awesome, Jason. I exactly see what you're saying there, but the finish. The finish just lies more in that cinnamon, just and it just keeps coming back to me in the <laughs> eleven. Why it, it it brings more of that sweet fruit to me back when it comes on the finish. Like I like I mean for me like I don't I don't I don't get that long a finish like on on twenty for whatever reason. Like it doesn't. Yeah, it, I, I get I a lot of heat and cinnamon up front, and then it goes away. I'll but, give you I'll give you one thing on eleven that's making me lean towards eleven is that dark fruit note on it because yeah. my favorite. My favorite Jack Daniels barrel proof picks have a dark fruit note to it, and 11, 11 has it. You're and right. I've never gotten that on a Jack Daniels before, honestly. And I think that's why I'm so intrigued by it. It's it's so good. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, like I mean, I, I don't know if I've gotten that that kind of peanut butter note either, like that. Yeah, it's peanut butter jelly time on eleven, man. I mean, I think it's like, honestly, I think we're all in agreement. Like it's it's peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. yeah, please yeah. try, please try, please try them with some water before you make your final decision. Oh, all right, okay, I can uh, do that. I have some more. Yeah, put a little, put a couple drops of water, and I'm gonna do it in mine here. Shit, I need my little, uh, put a little water in here. 
I don't know if I'm either going to be able to do that or not. I didn't get my eyedropper out. Yeah, I got so my eyedropper. Well, okay, question. When you guys are drinking Jack Daniels barrel proof, do you typically, you know, add water, add ice, or anything like that? No, I do typically, no. I, I do drink it on ice I sometimes. So. It, it, when, I, when I started Cliff, I drank it on ice a lot. And the more I drank it, the more it, I really transgressed into drinking it neat. And like Trevor, the bourbon ranch, he gives me crap on Friday nights. I'm like, what did you start with? It's Friday night, Jack Daniels Barrel Proof night, man. You got to start with it and go with it, you know? And it, uh, so it's, it's kind of a, it's grown on me. You know, it's really grown on me the more you do it. But uh, yeah, it used to be when I started, it was all ice on it. And it was, that's when I really thought, man, that's a wonderful flavor. And, and yeah, for I've me, I've gone to like this. There's very few whiskeys that I think hold up well over ice. I think this does. I think some older Knob Creeks do. I think if it's a really intense, complex flavor, I actually enjoy drinking over ice. Not all the time, but sometimes. Yeah. Um, so I think water is going to give me maybe a more clear perspective of which of these um, is better. So whoever suggested that, thank you. Yeah, well, I've always done it neat, but adding water doesn't seem a bad thing. No, it's not. It actually – water could be a great indicator of exactly how good – you know, a whiskey could be because if you add a little bit of water to it, you know, if, if people aren't crazy about drinking it at the actual proof, you could, you know, if it holds up to some water and it still holds that flavor, then that's that's what you uh, want to go. That's what you want to go. Oh, I, I I love I love eleven. I love eleven. So adding water to it, they're a lot more similar on the nose than than they I felt they yeah. were before. I totally would agree with that. I, when I added water to both of these, the the nose has got a lot more similar. I'm getting a little bit more of the banana that I normally find in it, um, but the good banana. <laughs> yeah, good banana, like banana oh, man, bread. Twenty, yeah, twenty, twenty is hot, man. That is hot shit. It's Ooh. kind of the law of diminishing returns for me. The more I drink. The more I drink 11, the more I like it. The more I drink 20, I'm like, I'm with Scott. It, it gets a little bit hotter as we go. Man. And, and I added a ton of water, and I still agree that 20 does drink hot. Now, I haven't tried 11 yet since adding water. See, well, see for, for me. Go ahead, Scott. Oh, sorry, go ahead, Brett. With water, 11's better to me. Yeah. I like 11 better with a little bit of water. Right, with a little bit of water, 11's better. With the, without water, I still like twenty better. Even though it may drink hot, I think it has the flavor punch that I want in a whiskey. Mm. Oh man, number really good. number number nine, the middle one, number nine, it's the best with water. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even try that. I was I'm like, it already, tastes, it already tastes. It already tastes like water I'm in it. What the hell? <laughs> we're gonna be, we're gonna we're gonna be here all night. We're gonna be here all night. <laughs> man, yeah, number nine is out. Oh my God! Yeah, no way. Yeah, yeah. I saw a few people were drinking. No, um, no, rare no on nine. I, I guess. I guess here's a, here's also a good question. So I guess asking a lot of the people who are in the chat who who maybe who maybe ones buying the the bottle. You know where where do where do you guys lean? You know what are That's good question, you know, Scott. You know, I mean, it's not. I know it's. I know we're so doing it. So, so before we ask them, what is so I like 20 because I, I really feel like it has more of a flavor punch. Um, 11 has a little bit more. What do you guys feel 11 has over 20 that you like so much? Is it just being because it doesn't drink as hot or what is it? No, I really like the deeper, darker notes to it and the finish to it better. The flavors I get on the finish, I really like a lot better. The the sweeter fruits that I get on the finish compared to the spicier finish I get from the cinnamon on the on the uh, on the yeah. number twenty. There's, there's always one, and this time it's Tammy. We want both. Of course, it's Tammy. Uh, Tammy wants them. <laughs> we want both. Well, who wouldn't want both? I am. Yeah, you know, I would love both. <laughs> We can't, we can't be both. Jack Daniels is pretty limited, so the fact that we got even this pick is pretty amazing. But I, exactly, Jason. Exactly. Honestly, honestly, with water and up front, I was leaning towards twenty earlier, but after having it with water and getting more of that dark red fruit, I I'm definitely leaning a little bit more towards eleven now. So, yeah, I'm That's I'm it. on board with that. I I mean, I was with Jason. I, I was really like teetering back and forth. Um, 11 just brings something unique to it that I don't think I've ever had on a Jack Daniels Barrel Proof. 
And I think that that would make me pick it up because I'm like, oh, this is interesting. This is, I mean, it's not so far off profile, but it has a little bit more going for it than the standard on the shelf bottles. That's, that that's, yeah, that's, that's, what I, that's what I would say. Yeah, it's not only sweet, but it carries this long finish. That's, oh, man, I mean, so. you guys know me in yeah. finish. I mean, I, I love the finish on eleven. That's, I mean, that's I, I, mean, I think I, I think I think overall, I mean, I think overall, like eleven is is like the the richer. I think it's been been without the water, with the water, it's remained like pretty consistent, like all the way through. Um, and, and and again, admittedly, I mean, I'm not a huge like high heat like huge high proof like guy so when when it like lights me up like that's a little mm -hmm. bit of a turn off for me so um i i, I like i like, like how 11 drinks yeah if most people are going to drink it over ice or with water then 11 is a clear winner if you're going to drink it straight out of the bottle then i prefer 20 but again this is for the group not for just brett good call brett I mean, I think like the people that said both, like pairing them both together. I mean, that's a delicious. Like, I could drink both of those back and forth all night. They're so good. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> honestly, yeah. because I love cinnamon so much, I mm. twenty is my favorite, to be honest. But I mean, I realize I'm being outvoted here. So, Jason, I can. We're both you know, good. that's the the unique thing for me is that everybody has this unique taste profile, what they prefer, and. And I can definitely see where if that's what you prefer, that why you would choose that. And I completely get it. But man, I my place profile goes to eleven. Yeah, I mean, there, and there's some people that just want to be like lit up. Like I get it. There's people who are 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 proof whores. They just want their whole mouth like completely demolished. <laughs> I mean, that, <laughs> that, that's, that's me every Friday night. But like uh, Carol, <laughs> these, are these are bad analogies, of course. Like Barrel, like barrel 20, <laughs> barrel 20 mm -hmm. with some, so you can't tell me that Barrel 20 with some airtime that if it mellowed out a little bit would be fucking ridiculous. Right, I'm with you. <sighs> Man. This is, this is where it'd be really fun if we all had like some boxing gloves. <laughs> duke this, duke it. Let's duke it out a little bit. Mm. Uh, I'm a weenie. I don't box. Oh, yeah, man. Jason I only play it? Mike Tyson's punch out. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mix it with Coke. Isn't that what you do with Jack? <laughs> yeah. you want no, that's, that's what, what, what you do with old number seven. That's what you do with old number seven. You do old not do that with that's barrel proof. We need to do someday. We need to do like a, a barrel pick that's just good for mixers. <laughs> That'd be all right. I mean, nothing oh, wrong man. with that. I love a good mix, mix drink. Exactly, Clifton. Exactly. There's a whole lot of people out there who love mixed drinks. Exactly. Man, I am. I'm sold on eleven. That's that's my vote. Yeah, me, me, too. me too. I'm 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 in Adam's camp on this one. Eleven is is uh, the winner. Scott for me. Adam won eleven. Brett, where are you leaning? For myself, it would be twenty. For the group, it'd be eleven. Clifton, where are you leaning? It's really close, but I gotta I gotta lean with eleven here. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. bitch. I mean, I mean, I mean, we can we can, we can take our time here a little bit too. I mean, we don't have to like rush this thing, you know. So Clifton, Clifton I'm a bad with a whiskey. <laughs> we got we got all night. We got all night. Right, Clifton. Yeah, if I can, if I can delay this, the better. The further I can delay my mix, my ready to drink, the better. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, if y'all think eleven, you'll have to make a spinal tap sticker. <laughs> uh, like so, Clifton, let's talk about twenty. Okay. <laughs> your first first barrel pick. Mm -hmm. If you were drinking alone, just you, not for anybody else. This feels like you're trying to use some like psychology tricks on me. I'll, I'll put a little bit more. more. I I am I am team six right now. I'm the I'm the lone wolf right now. Son of a bitch. I'm, pouring, I'm I'm going back to them completely um foolproof, like no water added. I'm gonna do one last little one last little thing. I would rather have twenty. And I'm actually trying to save a sip for my wife, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you're better than me because I completely forgot to save some. I mean, I I, I I added I added three drops of water to each, and and I mean, I don't know if it did a lot. I mean, no, I added did. seven. I went. I wanted oh. to add a lot because I wanted to see how different it could be. Oh, okay, all right. 
Got 20 hats. I tell you what. I tell you what, my wife does some great things for me whenever I do these shows Why she uh, sits there and tries them after I try stuff and and gives me another whole taste perspective on things, and that's yeah. awesome. 20 has I such, has such okay. intense flavor on the palate. You're just saying 20 because your uh, Sparko choked you out a little bit tonight. Relax. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Scott, I'd yeah. rather have 20, though. Man, I mean, coming back to twenty. Okay, now, like I said, I just re-poured them at at full proof. Coming I, back I to twenty, I, I see what we loved about it. I see what we fell in love with at the beginning about it. Yeah, I don't twenty. I see what you guys are doing. You guys are working Cliffy right now. That's they are. Weird. They are. You, you guys are working. You, I can see. Like you guys are leaving Adam and I alone. You guys are working Cliffy right now. I can. But see I mean, what's I was, going I was on, on the edge though. I was. I've been on the fence 20, the whole time. You can, You cannot. You cannot tell me honestly that that eleven has more flavor punch than twenty because it doesn't. There's no oh, way. Not initially. I I, I, you're I, right. I, initially, you're right. Yeah, the initial it's, flavor it's, punch. It, it, yeah, I mean it. It definitely it definitely hits you like right away. There is no doubt about that. I think. Can we not just do the average. first Jack Daniels double barrel and just get the palate of <laughs> of twenty and then the mouthfeel <laughs> of eleven? It's real. It's really, honestly, to me, twenty is its flavor versus eleven, which is finish. I think finish I, eleven has the finish. Twenty has the flavor. So it's here, really like, with eleven. Here's the thing. So here's the thing. Like, like Brett said it like really well before. Like, like we're focused on what we're doing right now. And again, it it does go beyond us, you know for sure. So we have to we have to take that into consideration too. So, yeah, which I think I think people know. would enjoy twenty a lot more than eleven because of the flavor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on, wait, Jason. But, me, but here's the thing, Jason. Jason, hold on. Jason said something. He said he said, "Oh, we only like eleven because of the finish." I think you got the couple finish with mouthfeel. I think eleven has the best mouthfeel. It's the most the more full whiskey, not just the finish, just overall. Like what I'm looking for whiskey is not just taste but texture, and I think. 11 does have that texture. Yes, the palette on 20 is fantastic. <laughs> I just think it lacks a texture a little bit. That's just my opinion. Like, I, I think I think 11... I, um, you know what, I, I, I do agree with that, Cliffy, because I just tried 11 again. It does have the viscosity, the finish. It may not have the punch, but I think it does have the, the, the viscosity and the finish that maybe 20 lacks a little bit. Some Here's of the, the thing for me, Jason, I, that, I, that I, flavor I punch is... I want a fourth flavor option. punch is you want a fourth option? There you go. That, <laughs> that flavor punch of 20 is is coming in hard right there. Like it's a great initial punch and I love it. But eleven keeps coming with punches after that, and that finish carries on for a lot longer than yeah, that initial that's flavor. Kind punch. Of the, that's the deal breaker for me too. Like the finish on eleven is just man, it's just so long. It just lingers and I was I, eleven. I love, is for me, I, I like I like a little more sweetness, and for me, that has a little more a little more sweetness that I that I prefer. So. Eleven Eleven has stickiness that I will admit that twenty does not have. There you go. Oh, of course, I you have to call it. it sticky. Sticky doesn't sound good though. <laughs> yeah, like a no, sticky no. peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Like on the power, like sticky, sticky, like sticky, sticky wicky. Like a five year old yeah. that just ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Like that's what I feel. Maybe maybe Jason can ask room service to come mix them up and put a sticker on. No. Them. Clifton, maybe a sticky, like, sticky bun. I love. I I still love that like peanut butter jelly like note on on eleven. Like I mean, and and here's the thing I'll say. Like you guys don't get us wrong. Like there's there's a lot of like heat and complexity to, to all of them. Like it's not like flat by any means. I mean, there. Oh, I saw either of these two in the store. I'd buy them both. Absolutely, like no question. Like I mean, uh, I exactly think I think eleven is. I think eleven I, overall is I, much more approachable. All right, when I go back and forth between the both of them, like think about this, Jason. So put yourself like if you're sitting there and you're just watching a movie, like which one is is like easier to just drink? That's super delicious. I don't want fucking easy though. I want oh, something. Well, no, I was gonna say, hey, no, easier to drink is number twenty for me. Actually, I want to think about yeah. number eleven, and I like thinking I want, about number I want, eleven. I want impact. I don't want fucking easy. I want impact and and finish and viscosity. 
Right. I don't that's want. Why. I don't well, want the velocity for me is riding an eleven. That's that's I where I love easy. eleven. I Wait, did Jason easy, just I say he wants finish and viscosity? Because that sure sounds like I number want, eleven to yeah, me. If I want easy, exactly, I'll I'll want If I want easy, I'll fucking drink Blantons. <laughs> there you go. Okay, I'm not. I'm not. Comp- I'm not talking about easy. Like this is fucking drinking Blantons. I'm not telling you guys that at all. Like this is. <laughs> Next, there you go. That's next time we next time we do a uh, next time we do a barrel pick like in in uh, in person. I'm bringing some sparring gloves and Kalori and I we're <laughs> fucking going at it. All right. Uh, if if honestly, I think. I mean, it, this is tough. I think overall, for me, as I go back and forth, I think eleven does have a little bit more to offer than twenty. He said oh, it finally. I finally said it. <laughs> <laughs> Cliffy, we broke his ass down. <laughs> Y'all were trying to break me down, but actually we were reverse psychologizing his ass. <laughs> See, to oh. me, eleven eleven drinks easy. I don't I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't get I don't I would not say it's because it's like your fifteenth pour sip. <laughs> I mean, if you I, want I easy, agree. go to number nine. Number nine was easy. I, I agree, man. I don't think I don't think eleven drinks like necessarily like easy. I mean, it's still high proof. I don't know what this is, but it's got some proof to it. But I mean, nine is definitely easier, no doubt about that. Nine, nine goes down easy. I could. I, I haven't even night. touched that one since I tasted it first. I'm not even going <laughs> to. That's what I'm saying. Well, like, it's, it's too easy. It doesn't deserve a mashing yeah. kind of sticker on it. By the time we get now, it's 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 too easy. By the time where we've gotten now. Um, all right, I asked Shem what the proof on these were because that that could be a deciding factor here. So Shem, if you're yeah. uh, if you're in the chat and you're watching, let me know if you have the proof. On I'd these love letters. to know. I'd, I'd love, love to know. To. We would love to know. If I'm guessing, I'm guessing twenty is the highest proof. Eleven lower, nine lower than that. Right. I, 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 mean, that. I, I, I have such a, 11. I will. I will say 11 has the viscosity that 20 does not have. Dude, and the finish on 11. Like, I'm surprised that you're not locked, like locked into that finish on 11, dude. It is fucking incredible. No, I do. I, I agree. I like, I, I like the finish on 11, but I think 20 has more flavor overall. That's Here's the, 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 I think the, I think the reverse. Like I think I think you get hit. I think like you get hit up front with twenty, and you yes. get more of the heat and the and the nice finish and spice on the back end on eleven. Like it's it's two completely different whiskeys. Right. I mean, Scott, that's what I was saying. Like up front, you're hit with the delicious, beautiful flavor on twenty, but you're left with a medium finish, but that doesn't compare to 11. 11 has the full experience. It does lack a yeah, little up front, 11, but that's the le- that only I would, yeah, I think 11 is more elegant. It really is. It's just a beautiful whiskey. All right. You broke me down. Fucking 11. <laughs> <laughs> Break him down. Break him down. That's what we want to do. 11, 11 does have the finish that just lasts for uh, a lifetime here. Yes. I agree with you. It's darker, uh, deeper whiskey to me. Number number twenty has that initial burst of flavor, and then yes. it, it does it does taper off quickly. Yeah. So eleven, yeah, yeah eleven does kind of it lasts longer. It may not be the initial super punch up front, but the viscosity no. and the finish is definitely starting to win me over, you fuckers. And so yes. go back to smelling it. If the, if it doesn't help you, go back to the nose. I mean, I think the nose on eleven is one of the best noses I've ever had on a whiskey. It's that 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 ch- cherry raspberry uh, oakiness that's just delicious on the it's, nose. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 the re- it's the reverse. The I mean, I mean, the raspberry mm-hmm. on eleven is what's. I love a dark fruit bomb on a Jack Daniels pick, and eleven definitely has it. So mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, twenty twenty right. is really early on and up front. So yeah, whiskey reaper Alessio Morte is Morte right now. Yep. Great <laughs> At least I'm not the it, dead one this time. This ringing endorsement. Okay, you broke me down. It's F and eleven. Oh shit! It, it's it's Jason, tough, tell me. I mean, this is the. I mean, this is the fun part about doing these things. I mean, it's. I mean, it, it can be a it can be a battle. I mean, this is where a lot of times you need an odd number because it comes down to like one other person being the deciding factor. That's yeah, that's why. Problem. That's why it's good to have five and not like six because it can be a yeah. Now we have, 
But I mean, I, I do. I the more honestly, guys, the more I'm drinking eleven, the more I I'm appreciating it. So, Jason I just Shem, from, the, have the proof. from the first jump, twenty to me just had the flavor punch, and no I think doubt. Brett, I think Brett experienced that too. Yes, but I, 11, well, I experienced I, it as well. I, I experienced 11, it. Eleven though is I think in longevity is it's it's. It's 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 a special uh, it's a special barrel. It damn well is because it's my first pick. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey Jason, I get that flavor punch on twenty two. I that, yeah, you, that is you, no you doubt about it. It, 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 it hits and it goes. And yeah, you, 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 can't, you can't, can't not so get good. that on twenty. You can't not get that on twenty. I mean, twenty like is a ball puncher right away. I mean, it lets yeah. you know what's going on. Yeah, so. 20 lets you know, like, I'm here and fuck you and drink me. You bet. 11 but is uh, eleven is not. 11 a, says come get some more. But 11 has more of, a, of an experience throughout, which I can yeah. appreciate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the, and, the dark fruit, and the dark fruit note in 11, for sure. I think I'm going to go back to 9, though, real quick, just to make sure. <laughs> Don't drink Jeez. 9. Go back, Scott. Go back. Oh man. Oh, nine is so delicious. The proof numbers. So uh, we don't we don't have the proofs on these. We'll we'll have to find out later. Um, Shem said but, you had the proof numbers. Uh, he said your bottle right, would so, be the only so, one that would have that info. So last vote. If um if you guys uh, raise your hand, if you want barrel twenty, I'm gonna do a half a half. Uh, <laughs> <raise>. <laughs> yeah. Uh, raise your hand if you want barrel 11. All right. <laughs> uh, looks like we're going to go with uh, JD207798, barrel number 11. So, Shem, if you're watching, it is all about barrel number 11. It is, it's a, it's a definitely a phenomenal pick. It is. Uh, it it is. It's not like – I can't say it's not like any JD I've ever had. Um, the way it drinks, the way it finishes – the red fruit note, I, I think it's going to be delicious. So, absolutely, yeah. I think it, I mean to to me it is different from anyone that I've had, but I have had limited experience. I haven't. I've only had one pick before. The rest have just been on the shelf, single barrel barrel proofs. All right, Clifton. Oh, what do you want? Uh, Clifton, what do you want to name this pick? Oh, I, I gotta I gotta do the rest of my stream tonight before I decide that. It should be. Uh, <laughs> it, it should be. Um, it should be F and eleven with Cliffy. <laughs> Hey, Clifton, the uh, best thing about these picks, though, is that every barrel you get off the shelf is a different barrel. You know, they're all single barrel picks, and mm -hmm. that's what I love about these is that you you yeah. get a different one every time. We'll get to – I haven't uh, we'll had a bad one. To, we'll get to put a sticker on this, and we'll definitely have uh, Brett, Adam, and Clifton kind of um, uh, enshrined on the, on the sticker uh, for helping us out. Uh, but I really appreciate – I think 11 is going to be – the more I drink it, yeah, the more I appreciate it. It's really good. It's complex. It's a long finish. Uh, and, I, and the more I go back to 20, I think I agree with what you guys said. The 20, the punch of flavor you get in the beginning is great, but it really does kind of tell off after that. 11 kind of gives you the entire experience. So, um, Absolutely. Thanks yeah. for coming around. Thanks for coming around. Yeah, you guys. Jason, are before we before we get out of here, tell me what's what's the best Jack Daniels bottle you've you've drank, man? What's the best oh, one you've had? F and eleven. <laughs> F and eleven. How I could it be any different? I think, I think that's what we're going to call the pick. F and eleven. <laughs> F and How 11. about before tonight? Before tonight, what was the best bottle you've drank from? You know, is it the Coy Hill? Is it the Rye? Is it what? Oh, what's yeah, your I, favorite? I, I, the Heritage Barrel? Is it? You know, it yeah, can't the be the gold 27. Can't no, be no, that one. But, you know. The Heritage Barrel is my favorite for a while until the Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye came along. That, it's a special whiskey. The Jack Daniels Barrel Proof, Barrel Proof Rye is just, uh, it's ridiculous. I can't even, there's, n there's nothing to compare it to. Honestly. Yeah, I, I agree. Ha have you tried all the tasters? I've had the uh, I've had the Jamaican one. I've had the 
Hey, do you have the hickory had... the hickory smoked one? That one was weird, but I like yeah, it. Yeah, it was weird. weird. Like <laughs> You're exactly <laughs> right, Clifton. I had the I had the angel share and I had the um the tri- the, the blend, the triple the tri blend. Um, yeah. I the the tri blend was my favorite next to the rye. I mean, I love the tri blend what they did with that one. Uh, Cliffy Bus, F in eleven. <laughs> there we go. Well, I, I like what well, whoever was saying. Spinal Tab like turned up to eleven. Like I feel like we could do something with that. Like it's kind of like on brand. Like you know, like eighties or I guess yeah. it's an eighties movie, yeah. right? I don't know. That's definitely, definitely, <laughs> we could definitely do like a Spinal Tap theme sticker for that one. I, I'm digging that. So, uh, so um, Shem, if you're watching, we're gonna go with uh, lot number sixteen dash D dash fourteen, number eleven. Uh, it's 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 fucking delicious. I'll red's like I'll, red's like F your eleven. Yeah, F your eleven. Um, love this oh, one. Is, that is the oldest one. It's get yeah, it's the oh, oldest, yeah. and it's getting, and it's getting better the more I go back to it. Or you're I have to save the last little bit for my husband. Awesome. I'm following his his method. Like, oh, I got to save it for the it spouse. Is, it is it is really awesome, wild. Cliffy. <laughs> Mine's gone. You know what happens? To, I uh, saved a sip of each for the wife. She can tell me if I was wrong or not. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, this is uh, this is a phenomenal pick. I mean, this number eleven is really good. Uh, I think actually the viscosity of it, the thickness and the richness of it, definitely outweighs the uh, the number twenty. So, um, yeah, I want to thank everyone for uh, for watching, um, for uh, helping us, uh, I guess, come to a consensus. A lot of people in the chat were saying, uh, you know, go with number 11. Shem Carrots or copy that. So we have ourselves a pick. Uh, if you're watching, I just want to let you know that today, because of Shem uh, in the chat, uh, this, uh, where is he? This beautiful man right here. Uh, he let us know that the Mass and Journey Whiskey Club will be getting two wild turkey barrels uh, coming up in June. We're going to be picking, I think, a Russell's and a Kentucky Spirit. So... Wow. Ooh. Yeah, we're we are I mean, we're full steam ahead guys. We're yeah, we have that's, some that's going to be a fun one. That's going to be a fun one. That's be awesome. One. Yeah. So uh thanks so much. Yeah, Shem is an absolute fucking whiskey stud, blind <laughs> squirrel. Uh so Ooh. we're we're going to sign off real quick. Clifton, get over to your uh live stream. If you guys are watching right now, head on over to uh Clifton at Bourbon Bites. As he drinks some funky shit after drinking all the Jack Daniels <laughs> yeah, stuff. It's the after party. Let's go get drunk, y'all. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, for Cliffy, it's got to be like, what, about 4 o'clock for you? So yeah. you're about time, so. yeah uh, and husband's <laughs> like, I'm good. Like, I'm good to get drunk tonight. So Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Uh, Scott's on Canadian time, so we'll see how that <laughs> Canadian time, yeah. Canadian so, uh, uh, And Jason and Scott, I just want to say – I was gonna say thank you again for inviting me to be a part of this. This was so glad, awesome. I'm so excited. Glad you could do it. Glad you could be part of it. Definitely want to echo Cliffy's sentiments there. Thank you guys so much for providing yeah. this opportunity for all of us Patreons and for providing this whiskey club for everybody here. This is such an opportunity for us to get a hold of some unique whiskey and some great stuff. We really appreciate it. We're uh, we're trying. This this was this was. This was this was part of it, um, you know, really from the from the get go was getting getting everybody involved and, and making it a, a really awesome community and it's a, a bunch of great people. So that's awesome. Yeah, this is fun. All right, cheers, guys! Thanks all so much for your help. Uh, head on over to uh, Bourbon Bites for the uh, the next live stream tonight. I'm gonna head over and hang out in the chat. Cheers to Jack Daniels for uh, Keg and Bow for helping us out and for all you supporters of the Master Journey Whiskey Club. Thanks so much. Cheers, cheers. guys. I'm real serious. Everybody. Hey guys.